part of your system. Hello, Brownie here from Kit Guru, and I'm here at the Casekin stand with Debauer. And in front of me here, I've got a really interesting server from Asus, um, and it has got a really incredible Cinebench store of over 10,000. So, how did you achieve such an amazing Cinebench store? Yeah, so we basically figured out that it's possible to overclock those uh, AMD EPIC CPUs. So we have a system here with dual EPIC 7601, which is dual 32 core. Both of them are at the moment clocked at 4 gigahertz. And in the morning we ran the score, which is 10,400 roughly, which is almost double at then stock, yeah. Yeah, that's absolutely crazy. Uh, so what sort of cooling did you have to do to ensure to keep these CPUs cool at such a high clock speed? So we're running those CPUs typically chilled. So we have a water chiller in the base of this. Uh, water temperature is roughly 18 degrees Celsius. And then uh, we can keep the CPUs really, really cold. We can push them a lot more in voltage. We also need typically additional uh, cooling for the mainboard. So normally we would have 3M Novak in here, which we currently don't. But uh, that's needed to cool the VRMs of the motherboard. Yeah. So if I wanted to get my hands on one of these, how much would it cost and if and when would it be available? We're not turning it into a commercial product, but I mean the components itself, I would estimate around 20,000. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> so we know that those Epic CPUs aren't meant to be overclocked. How easy was it to bypass AMD security and get that four gigahertz clock? It was really, really easy. I mean, um, like really, really easy. There is not really a lock. There is nothing we had to change in a microcode or anything. Basically, they're unlocked. I mean, you can overclock them. If you're a fan of playing around with things, then you can probably figure it out in, I don't know, 30 minutes. This has been Brownie for Kit Guru at the Case King Stand at GamesCon in Cologne. And thank you to, to DeBauer for showing me this really cool system. I can't believe the Cinebench score that he's managed to get out of this. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit the subscribe button as well to follow Kit Guru on YouTube.